Hi guys, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look how we can create water droplets. So I've got this picture here, it's not the best picture but it's all I have handy for a start image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Then get the circular marquee tool. Hold your shift button whilst you're drawing your circle. Just to keep it a perfect circle. I'm going to scroll into that and get the gradient tool. Make sure you're on linear, and it's the third one across, black to white, that you want. Now if you hold your shift key, click at the top left of the circle, and drag it down to the bottom right. Be careful you don't over drag your circle, otherwise your gradient is going to be predominantly black, because the white area of the gradient will be outside the selected area, so keep your line for your gradient within the circle. Now control D to deselect. Now we've done our gradient, we're going to change the blending mode of this layer to overlay. Double click at the end of the layer, the opposite end of the eyeball. Inner shadow. We're going to leave that and multiply. If it doesn't work out quite so well on your picture, uh, try linear burn. I'm just going to change that to 30%. I'll try that at uh, All I can do is get a bit of a shadow across the top here, so we'll go with that. Uh, distance of 10, size of 8, and take off the used global light. And we're going to go to drop shadow. Again, we're going to take off that global light. I'll start at 40%. Go for distance of 15. Size 10. Thirteen's looking a bit better, I think, for that. Change that one to that side. That inner shadow. Change to minus thirty. I think that's right. So in a shadow, we're going to go with minus thirty degrees, distance ten, size eight. <coughs> On a shadow, we're going one hundred and twenty-seven degrees, size thirteen. Sorry, distance thirteen and size ten and global light is turned off for both of those. So we're going to rename that one. Drop. And we're going to create another new layer. And we're going to call that Highlight. So we're going to get a brush tool, foreground colour to white, normal blending mode, I want to put a highlight on this droplet, so we don't want it too big. Put that one dot somewhere around about there. So when you're close up, these don't look ultra realistic, but when you're further away, they kind of have a certain appeal. Um, it's the best way I've found to do them. Um, ordinarily, to be honest, I would just use a atomizer and spray water on the flower in the first place. But, you know, it's another tool. So we're going to get both of these. Control G to put them in a group. Control J to copy that folder. Control T to transform. We just scroll back in. Move that one out a little bit. Hold the shift key down again. Move that one over there. Control J to copy, Control T to transform. Move that one out. So we have the three drops. And what we'll do is uh, we'll make one more. <coughs> and I'm just going to show you how you can make this look like it's running a little bit if you need to. Um, it is quite difficult to get these to look correct, but 
it's always worth a try you know you don't have to leave it in you can always delete it afterwards so go into the one you want to make to more of like a tear shape and select on the actual drop so you're not moving the highlight as well and what we'll do is we'll go to filter liquify and you're looking for the forward warp tool so we need to get a little bit closer to our droplet here so we'll zoom in somewhat get your warp tool just a little bit smaller than the actual drop something like that will do for the purpose of the demonstration it'll probably take a little bit more time than what I do and we'll just control T on that folder so then you have your water droplets Obviously I've made these quite large so you can see them on the the video. Um, ordinarily you probably have these a little bit smaller, not quite so obvious, but uh, but it gives you a good idea of the process you go through to create them, which is the main aspect I suppose. Thanks for watching, I hope you find this useful. Until the next time, bye for now.